question the triangle ABC in which AB is equals to AC this side is equals to this side so I'm just marking like this AB is equals to AC so in the given we can write AB equals to AC second information is M is a point on AB so they are not telling where is the point so we cannot interpret mathematically this statement so no need to write and n is a point on ac similarly such that bm equals to cn bm equals to cn so this is also given So we need to prove four things. We'll be dealing them one by one. To prove, first thing is AM equals to AN. So we need to prove that AM equals to AN. This is one of the favorite figure for exam because as you can see there are many triangles which are forming this is these two these two and these two so which triangle we need to take for congruency is depend a lot upon what we need to prove and what is given so let's try to focus on what is given and what we need to prove for the first case we need to prove AM and AN. So let's focus on one side AM and second is uh, what is given AB. This full side is given AB and AC and BM equals to CN. So we have to see what we need to prove should come in the triangle and what is given should come in the triangle that's how we are going to prove it so if you can see a b n we can take let me draw it for you separately a b n and second is like this A M C so C A M A N we need to prove is still there A B A C is still there and B M and C N is not there separately B M and C N so we have to reevaluate which triangle we need to take let's see first of all can we congruent them since these two sides are equal and this angle is common we got two things so we are unable to find the third thing uh, we cannot uh, prove them congruent as you can see in the second part we need to prove these two as congruent so there must be something else see carefully since these two sides are equal and their portion are also equal so if there are two lines say a b this side and a c let's say they are 10 centimeter each and there is a point m and there is a point n in between as they have said b m this part and n c are equal let's say three centimeter so this part automatically becomes seven centimeter so we can say a n is also equals to so a m is also equals to a n so let's do this proof as a b equals to a c and b m equals to c n
from 1 and 2 we can say that am equals to an we can take this result for the second proof there are high chances that a uh, second proof will require the first so it's a kind of in sequence if you are not able to do the first part you won't be able to move on to the next part as you can see am is equal to an will be required in this case so for the second part in triangle a b n and triangle a c m first thing is a b equals to a c second thing a n equals to a m we can write proved above and here it is given third thing this is the only figure where angle is common so there is no other figure as far as uh, triangle is concerned where the congruency we need to do the angle is common and only in this kind of figure so angle b a n is equals to angle c a m we can say common so therefore triangle a b n is congruent to triangle a c m by side angle side congruency criteria now moving on to the third thing what they are asking They are asking us to prove that BN equals to CM. BN equals to CM. So, in this case, as we already know that if two triangles are congruent, the other three elements are also congruent. As you can see, BN is in this triangle and CM is in this triangle. And these two triangles are already congruent. So we can directly write BN equals to CM by CPCTC. Congruent part of congruent triangles are congruent. As I explained it earlier also, second part was helpful for the third part so we need to understand all the parts we cannot skip to the next part before doing the first so moving on to the fourth part they are asking us to prove that triangle b m c is congruent to triangle c and b So in triangle BMC and CNB, let's draw them separately. BMC and this is like this. BNC. What is given? Let's see. We already know that BM equals to CN. It was given BM equals to CN. And here also we have marked. Second thing we have already proved above that BN is equals to CM. And third thing as you can see BC, BC is common in both the case. So here we can prove them congruent very easily 
first is BM is equals to CN given CM is equals to CM equals to BN proved above and third thing is BC is equals to BC common so therefore triangle BMC is congruent to triangle CNB by SSS congruency criteria so that's it for today see you in the next video